Amen. Amen. Good morning, Central. We greet you in the blessed name of God, our Father, Jesus, our Redeemer, the Holy Spirit, our Comforter, and our God. Let us stand together for our call to worship. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth remain silent before him. Our morning hymn is How Great Thou Art, followed by our prayer by Trustee Carlos Whitmore, our choral response, and then we will enter into praise and worship. Amen.
Our great dog. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning. That's about, that's about here for a word of prayer. Was Jesus buried across the lawn and all the world go free? So there's a cross for everyone, and I know there's a cross for me. Most holy land last in God, I want to thank you for this day, Heavenly Father. I want to thank you for the food on our table, Heavenly Father. I want to thank you for the clothes on our back, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I want to forgive us for our sins, Heavenly Father. I want to forgive you for the things we said that we shouldn't have said, Heavenly Father. I want to forgive you for the things that we, the place we've gone we shouldn't have gone, Heavenly Father. Then, Heavenly Father, I want to bless you for this day, Heavenly Father. I want to keep on blessing our pastor, Heavenly Father. Continue to bless our family, Heavenly Father. Continue to bless the church family, Heavenly Father. Continue to bless the ones that's on their way, Heavenly Father. In the name I pray. Amen.
Again, let the church say amen. amen. We thank God for our deliverance of praise choraleers that sound like they're in concert form this morning. Amen. As they celebrate their 19th anniversary. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise for them. Amen. Amen. If you're visiting with us for the first time on this morning, will you please stand and remain standing wherever you are? Amen, 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 amen. We say to you, welcome to the Central Baptist Church. We're so glad that you chose to worship with us on this day. We pray that the service will be a blessing to you and know that you honor us with your presence with us today. We pray that you would enjoy the music that's being lifted, the prayers that have been prayed, and the word that will be preached. And next time you come, please, ma'am, please, sir, bring a friend with you. God bless you, and thank you so much for coming. Amen. Amen. Let me remind you that on next Sunday at 5.45 p.m., we will have baptism in our right hand of fellowship. We normally have it on the fifth Sunday, but we have Family and Friends Day on the fifth Sunday. So we'll have it next Sunday at 5.45 p.m. If you have joined the church and have not received the right hand of fellowship or baptism, we ask that you please, ma'am, please sir, join us during that time. Uh, report calls are due again for the fourth marking period, and the deadline is July the 25th at 5 p.m. Please, ma'am, please, sir, make sure that all of our young people get their report card in. Again, this fifth Sunday during our family and friends, they worship our for the Reverend Renzi Stansberry and the New Anna Baptist Church in Newberry, South Carolina. We are special guests on our family and friends day. We will also observe our quarterly seed offering during that time. My brothers and sisters, when you sow a seed, the seed may not come when you want it, but when harvest time comes. Because you've been obedient to sow the seed, you will reap your harvest. Amen. Amen. Again, let me take this opportunity this morning to thank God for the presence of Reverend Kenneth Wilson and for Reverend Dr. Hezekiah Carpez. We thank Trustee Carlos Whitmore for leading us in our morning prayer. Carlos, one of our DITs, Deacons in Training. Amen, somebody. And we thank God for the way that he's growing by leaps and bounds, and we praise God for him. Speaking of anniversary, before we lift off, and let me take this time on tomorrow, Cook and I celebrate 33 years. Right. Amen. 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 I know, I know that's young compared to a lot of the marriages at Central. We got some folks that married 40, 45, 50, 55 plus years. Amen. Amen. But I learned that every day, it's not like it's the honeymoon, but you're just hanging there with each other. That's right. Amen, somebody. Amen. You know, if you're just hanging there with each other, the Lord will make a way, and he'll make a way. Somebody. Amen. I know it's not easy being married. It's sure not easy being married to me. <laughs> I confess. <laughs> Amen. We praise God much and mighty. We know that a sweet spirit in this place, and it is the spirit of the Lord. Now, we're getting ready to prepare for our back-to-school prayer powwow with our young people. We'll have bands placed in the front and in the vestibule so that you can donate school supplies. Amen. Some of us for pastor, I don't really know what supplies to get. Evander knows going to be posting some additional information for you. But if you don't know what to get, just get a check and somebody get it for you. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. They accept it. I love giving back to our young people, encourage them along the way. Now, what I'm going to do today is that because we have such a kindred spirit up here with Dr. Carpes and Reverend Wilson and myself, and I didn't talk to him about it because our spirits touch and agree. We're going to commit $300 from the roster Amen. for back to school supplies. Amen. Amen. We're, we're going to commit $300 from the roster. Amen. Amen. And, and since Dr. Carpez, the Reverend Doctor, is retired Presbyterian pastor, retired military, 
He just got it all going on. The three hundred dollars does not have to come from all three. It can come from one. I just sort of put it out there. Amen, somebody. But from eight o'clock Rossman Day, you can count on a donation of three hundred dollars from the Rossman Tour Supplies. Amen. Let's make it. We're gonna do different supplies, book bags. Sometimes you go to the stores, they have book bags on sale. You get them for a great price. All of our young people got book bags last year, and I thought that was very important to do so. So if you are purchasing it and you do the group text, email, bed, and send them and tell them what we need to do, and we'll make sure we get it done because it's all about the children. Amen. Amen. Let's not lose focus. It's all about the children, and we're looking Amen. forward to doing that. Because God is still in the blessing business. He's not brought us this far in order to leave us. Amen. Amen. Have you ever, while you're in church, you want to work, you want to get involved in a ministry, but you just don't know what ministry the Lord is calling you to? Amen. Now, with over 40 something ministry in the church, there is a ministry He's calling you to. Amen. Be prayerful where the Lord is leading you. We're excited about our uh, newsletter ministry. Our newsletter is referred to as the Central Messenger. My wife Cook is working on it and Ashley is working on it with Ashley Cunningham. The newsletter ministry will be doing maybe a quarterly newsletter for the church. On that newsletter, we'll be interviewing some of our seniors, doing spotlights on the senior. We'll be writing articles, a college corner, a youth corner. And any time there's an event from the church, we will make sure that the newsletter ministry population will send it out to the prospective sources so that it get the publicity need. If you think that's something that you would be excited about getting involved in or want to know more about it, see my wife cook after service because they're getting ready to start so we can better inform you what's going on with our ministers at the church. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, Deacon S. Robin Hampton, set up, Robin. Know that we're continually praying for you and praying with you. I know you miss Deke. Deke was a stabilizing force, and I miss him in his motorized car yes. right over in that corner. Be prayerful. Be prayerful and be encouraged. Know that your pastor's praying for you and your church family's praying for you. Be encouraged in the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Be encouraged. Let us prepare now to give back to the Lord a portion of that which the Lord has blessed us with. Amen. Let us prepare to give back to the Lord a portion of that which the Lord has blessed us with. The songwriter picked it up best when he said, you cannot be God-given no matter how hard you try. The more you give to God, the more the Lord will give back to you. And before we go on, Father, let me take this opportunity to pause and thank you, Central, for your faithfulness and your stewardship. We could not do what we do if we were not faithful stewards to the Lord. In order to accomplish what we want to do for God, we all need to pitch in and come together. Amen. Amen. Let me thank you for your support of the capital campaign for what's happening across the street. Everything that we have done across the street thus far has been out of pocket. Amen, somebody. That means you don't have any debt on anything. Everything has been out of pocket. What the progress now is we're waiting on bids on the parking lot. This is peak time for contractors now because they got a lot of new road money coming in. So they're not as needed now as they once were, but we're gonna be patient and wait on them. We have about three or four contractors bid that we're waiting so we can go ahead and get the park and lot paid. Amen. But you have been faithful in your stewardship efforts, your ties and capital campaign. We're thankful. We got people who are sitting toward our capital campaign from other states as well. They're listening this morning. We wanna thank Deacon Jonathan and Deacon Margaret Ridgeway for their contribution that they sent to us from Alabama for our capital campaign. We want to thank Bridget, our General Norma Green, uh, Deacon S. Flores' son, for sending a generous donation. So we're thankful that we got people all over who are supporting what we're trying to do. Amen? If we're faithful in what we're trying to do, God will bless our efforts. And thank all of those of you who have been giving and said, Pastor, I want to give this from my heart, a thousand, a three thousand, but I don't want anything mentioned about it. I just want to give. Amen. Y'all know when I give like that, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. 
but I do respect the right of those who want to remain private. Amen. So if there are any more private donors out there who want to remain private, just cut your check. And we'll let it remain private. But you have been so great in your giving and great things. What we're doing right now is going to benefit the next generation behind us. You invest now for those who come behind you so they would have some different options. But thank you so much for your faithfulness. Let us stand at this time. Grab your neighbor's hand. You might ask the question today, why am I grabbing my neighbor hand? Tell them, I don't know, Pastor Jesse, grab <laughs> Hold your neighbor hand while we pray. God, we're holding our neighbor's hand. And we're praying that they will be faithful in that stewardship effort. Because of that faith is that we know that you're in the blessing business. So I'm praying for a blessing for my neighbor right now. And my neighbor is praying for a blessing for me. We bring your tithes. We bring our offering, our capital campaign efforts to you, knowing that you are able to do exceedingly abundant above all we ask to think, according to the power that work within us. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank God and amen. amen. Let us follow the direction of our seniors.
Somebody said whatever. Could have had a little bit more of that this and that. Thomas Center back there, man. You can just as sharp as you can be looking just. Looking just, just like Cecil. That's Cecil boy. Cortland had served as our youth musician. Cortland relocated to San Antonio, Texas. But he interviewed on this past Friday for a job back in Columbia. And he met somebody. I've been praying. God is a prayer asking God. He met somebody. So, Courtney, you keep us abreast of the results. Amen. I told him, I said that when I sent him a text, I said, Welcome back to CNC. I like that passage. What's this? It's in Columbia and Central. <laughs> We're praying for you, man. All right. God bless you. Be encouraged. Amen. Amen. Let us prepare now for our um, scripture reading. Let us prepare for our scripture reading. Let us stand, please. From the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, verses 22 through 26. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, verses 22 through 26. We'll give you a couple of minutes to get there. Those of you who are watching the screen, you will patiently wait on those in the pages to get there. Amen. Amen. It used to be when we have someone to come up and read the scripture, I would tell Cynthia, tell them to bring their Bible. Really, now, as long as you have it. Whether it's iPad, iPhone, iPhone, as uh, long as you have it, whatever way you have it, let's read it. Amen. Amen. Let me read our scripture for us today, the Gospel of Mark. And he, he was speaking of Jesus, coming to Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand, yes. led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and he put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught or do you see anything? The blind man responds in verse 21, and he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. Verse 25, so after that he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up and he was restored. And he saw every man clearly. Before I go any farther, go back to verse 24. Go back to 24. Now in verse 24, the blind man looked up. Go to verse 25. Verse 25, after that he put his hands on his eyes again and he made him look up. Jesus made him look up now before he looked up on his own. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. And verse 26, and he sent him away to his house saying, 
neither go into the town nor tell it to any in the town. In other words, I just bless you. Don't go back to where I delivered you from and yes. mess up your blessing. Amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Oh, <laughs> 